Hi, I'm Dr. Kip Metzger from Animal Health Hospital in Tucson, Arizona. Like people, dogs and cats suffer from allergies. Today I'm going to show you how to give allergy injections to your pet at home. I've taken the allergy serum out of the refrigerator. To draw the serum from the bottle, we're going to invert the bottle. I'm going to remove the scabbard from the needle. With the vial in inverted, I'm going to stick the needle through the center of the rubber stopper. And since this is early in this dog's series of shots, we're only giving 0.2 ml. But notice that I've gone well below 0.2, and now I'm going to push the stopper back up 2.2. That removed any air bubbles from the syringe. I never place the scabbard back on the needle. It's an easy way to poke yourself instead of the dog. We give these allergy injections into a skin tent. Prior to doing this on a dog, I want to show you how it's done on a surgical drape. Pinch the dog's skin right over the shoulder blades with your thumb and your middle finger. And then take your index finger and go right between that and squeeze together and pull up. What that does is it makes three folds, one here, here, and here, and pulling up creates a nice little tent underneath the skin, and that subcutaneous tent is exactly where we want this injection to go. So normally I would take the scabbard off the needle, then form the skin tent, and then right beneath your index finger, between these two folds, plunge the needle through the skin, perfectly perpendicular to the skin, and then inject. Pull the needle out and you're finished. Like humans, in rare cases, animals can suffer allergic reactions secondary to these injections. It's very important to give these injections when we have 20 to 30 minutes to spend with our pets post-injection. If you notice any abnormalities, it's important to call your vet right away. This time, using the dog, remove the scabbard from the needle, make your skin tint, squeezing with your middle finger and your thumb, and then between those, your index finger, and then I'm pulling up, and right beneath the index finger, not into either of the folds, into the skin, I'm plunging in perfectly parallel to the skin, and then I'm injecting. It's as simple as that. This is a really, really tiny needle, and it's very rare that any dog or cat is going to resent this. The final step to this process is properly disposing of our sharps. We can't just throw these needles into the garbage because they're a hazard to the garbage people and other people in the family that may reach into the garbage. So I recommend using these BD needle clips. Take the needle, insert it into the opening, squeeze down, and it has now snapped that needle off. There's no danger to this anymore and this piece can be thrown away. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, contact us at www.animalhealthhospital.com.